Hello and welcome back to another How to Draw a Like video. This is Tam from howtodrawlike.com. In this video we're going to have a look at drawing Sparky from Frankenweenie. I've already drawn out some basic shapes here. So this is going to give us the outline of Sparky's body. For the head it's made up of a triangular shape you can see points at this sort of angle here with kind of a 45 degree triangle shape. The um, bulk of the head here is kind of a squashed round shape it's not perfectly round it's been uh, squashed down that way. I've got two triangular cone shapes for the ears with a small gap in between. For the body it's a cylindrical shape that's been kind of cut in half this makes up the body and then at the moment we've got some uh, the thin rectangles in place for the legs so the positioning of these are quite important to try and get the uh, posture right but we'll uh, take a closer look at that when we actually draw the legs in. So the head is made up of a bit of a rounded part there near the ears and then it dips in which is where the eyes will fall, but we'll add those in a little while. And it comes out ever so slightly by the muzzle, and down, and then down a bit further. And this needs to be a bit wobbly here, because um, the muzzle's not completely smooth. And we'll put a little rounded bit off there, ready to pop his nose in a bit later. And then the muzzle follows up. Again, similarly to this side, a bit wobbly. And then when it gets to the point where it reaches the circle of the head, we want to then actually bring this line onto the circle, not follow the triangular line um, up. And bring this around. We want to give it kind of a bit of a, a rounded shape. To emphasise, he's got a bit of a stockiness going on around his head. And this slopes up. And it gradually slopes in a bit towards the ears. And we come up to this gap between the ears and we get a little bit of a bump like this. And then this curves round underneath this ear and joins. So that's the basic outline for the head. We'll pop the ears in now. The ears are fairly similar kind of style to the muzzle, they're just slightly kind of wobbly lines going up so we'll start at the bottom of this one so you just want to give it a little bit of shape really and then the same on this side you see I've kind of brought this curve inside and it's followed slightly outside of our guideline we put in and we'll do similar with this ear here break round and up And then down, so it's got a little bit of a wobbly shape to it, and that's the main outline for the face. I'm going to pop the body on next. So, what we're going to do is start this off just a little bit lower than where I've put my guideline in. So, essentially, it's kind of joining on to the arm, not starting um, from above it. And this curves up to the uh, sorry, <laughs> trailing away there. This curves up to the top of the head and bring this down and this just curves round very very similarly to the actual guideline shape. I'll leave a gap there for the leg to come through and the same up this side will stop about there to allow for the leg and then we'll start the uh, top of the body up here and this will curve out a little bit because again he's got stocky shoulders and curve that down to about there we're going to leave room to put the uh, leg in in a minute so I'll add a couple of the um, other details in so the, uh, the legs are the main feature next to pop on 
So we'll start with the left front leg here and um, the feet of these are kind of almost similar to like mini elephant feet <laughs> if that makes sense. They're not quite hooves but they're not portrayed as kind of the normal feet you'd expect to see on a dog. They've got quite flat bottoms and then just sort of little three lines to indicate paws um, on the kind of front edge of them. Um, but I'll try and draw one out and hopefully you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to bring the leg down from the uh, muzzle and it's quite a thin slender leg. And then when we reach the bottom we put a little tiny paw on. Hopefully you can see there it's quite like a kind of a small elephant foot and then we'll pop the little kind of paw lines on like that and that gives us the uh, the rough foot and we'll do the same for the rest we'll do the uh, bottom left leg now so this one's a little bit trickier because the foot is actually a bit of a different angle to this one. I'm going to draw this leg in here and it's kind of coming out sideways beneath him. So the foot joins on like this at the bottom, kind of slopes down a little and it comes up like that and then you can just about make out the tiny little lines for the toes on that one too and then next is this leg so this one starts at the top and he's kind of almost got a bit of a bicep going on on this arm so it starts at the top and it gets a lot thinner as we go down bring it down about as far as the same length as this one and then we'll pop a foot on here similar to this foot there and the little lines again and then finally it's this back leg here so this one's again a little bit trickier you want to kind of have the leg coming out and joining up and it curves round so this isn't precise this guideline but it gives a rough idea and we'll start this bit up here so this comes down as well it will joins up down here and again the foot is going to be similarly to this one but slightly different angle so we want this sort of angle like this we'll tidy the um, toes up so it's something that looks like that so that gives us his basic outline so the next thing we want to do is put some of the detail in like his eyes and his nose and all of his scars um, and stitches and the bolts so we'll uh, do that bit next so we'll start with the eyes next um, what I'll get you to do is just so we get them roughly in the right place we're going to put a bit of a guideline going down the face and we'll rub this out um, towards the end but we just want to kind of split the face in half to begin with because that's going to make it a bit easier where to place the eyes and then we'll start with the right eye. So you want to come up from this bit here where the muzzle sort of join um, onto the head. And um, come up mm, probably, well, sort of about my thumbnail length um, above that. And we'll start popping the eye in. So we don't want it to be too high up because he's got a bit of an eyebrow that we need to add on yet. Uh, let me 
needs to be quite a large round eye but again don't do it too big or it's going to look a bit out of proportion so we've got our first eye and we'll pop a little pupil into that and then the eye on this side is a, a little bit trickier because it's not the same angle as this one it's on a bit of a slant um, but it comes roughly at a similar height to this one we want to curve that round so it's more of an ovular shape so you can see it took me a couple of lines there to sort of get it in about the right shape and we'll pop the pupil on this one and the pupil is slightly to the right hand side of that eye as you can see there and that gives us the rough eye shape so we'll pop the nose on quickly next so that's quite simple that's just with a little um, stretch sort of round shape a little kind of bobbly shape so that goes on there and the mouth is quite straightforward so where we've kind of got a guideline that's still penciled and we can just carry that on and bring it up the face a little bit more so that's the uh, the guideline in and then we'll pop his eyebrows on as well so these are quite um, thick black kind of caterpillary like eyebrows and they just curve around the shape of the eye like this and similar on this side although this one kind of slopes down a bit towards the right hand side to match the shaping of the face and gets a little bit thinner on this side as well So we've got the eyebrows on there as well. So that's the um, the main details of the face minus the uh, stitching. We'll pop this bolt in next because that's quite an important bit. So this comes in where the head joins the neck. And that's just a, a rectangular shape that the angular circle one on the side. We've got his bolt there. So the next stage is to pop his scars in, and then we've got his uh, basic outline. So the main final bit to pop on now is uh, his stitches and scarring. So he's got a couple on his head. Let's start this one off. This comes down next to his eye. It's just a case of putting in some lines and then some lines crossing that over. And then he's got another one going across his nose. So this starts on the same side as the, the left eye, a little way down. And it follows down a bit like this. And we've got some more cross lines going over that. There's another one. And his neck is uh, made up of a few as well. So these are a little bit deeper. And then we can't really see a lot going on by the arm here, but there is a little bit of a gash in his tummy here. So we'll put a couple in there. Put a little bit of a crease in his leg there for the bend. This side, he's got one going across his leg, and then this whole arm is stitched on, so we can put a bit of a curved line going all the way around to that. Pop the stitches. And then he's got one that comes round his back and probably meets up nearly under his belly there. Poor guy's pretty stitched up. 
and then one that joins this leg on as well and then there's a final one under his tummy here And there we have it. So what I'll do next is um, I'll rub out some of our guidelines and tidy them up a bit. And I'm going to pop in some basic shading on the body and just highlighting lights and darks. And then I'll come back for a, a quick bit on showing you how to shade his ears and his eyes as they're a little bit fiddlier. So I'll be back shortly. I've shaded Sparky in now, so you can see I've just highlighted various areas, mainly sort of on the underside of his belly, a little bit around the neck, and in particular places around the scars. I've put a bit of highlighting around the eyes already and on the ears, but this is going to make up the final shading for these areas. So we'll start with the ears, and um, what you need to do is start with a basic layer of um, a sort of a, a mediumish shade on it and you want to just start putting very thin dark wavy lines I hope that you can just about make that out um, going up the ear just start at the bottom work your way up just keep them quite short it's a good idea to have a fairly sharp pencil for doing these with Mine's not ideally quite as sharp for this sort of thing, but it's just to give you the general gist, really. So I'll um, finish that off quickly for those two ears, and I'll come back and show you how to shade the eyes. The ears are complete. You can add a tiny bit of dark highlighting just at the bottom of the ears, just to tidy those edges up as well where you put the lines in. And the eyes follow a pretty similar principle to the ears that again shaded by made up making up uh, lots of small lines coming off around the edge of the eyes you want these lines to be quite short and you don't want them all to ideally join up with each other because it just becomes lots of uh, circles getting bigger then you want kind of um, broken lines and again the sharper the pencil the better for doing this sort of thing and you just want to keep expanding that out a little way like so and then do similar for the other side it doesn't need to be quite so heavy on the other side it's just a little bit more at the top rather than going all the way round because of the angle the eye is at and a little bit on this bottom corner edge here and then you can add a little bit of um, dark shading in just above the eyes on each side to give a bit of a shadow and that gives the eyes. So there we have it. One finished Sparky. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And for more videos, please check out howtodrawlike.com. And I will be making another video soon. And hope to see you there. Bye for now.